Um, I'll just start off first. I'm sure you guys can have some questions about the gambling issue. Uh, all I'll say on that is it's an ongoing investigation uh, with the NFL right now. Uh, and we are constantly, it's an ongoing process, educating our players, educating our coaches on the situation. And beyond that, I will have probably no further comment going forward. Is it, just that a, is a, with, with trying to push it a little bit, I mean, doesn't a team basically do as much as it can so players do know what's going on? Yeah, the league does a good. They came in there actually in this week talking about the gambling stuff. And uh, like I said, I'm going to leave it at that. Was that planned before this? Probably. Yeah, they do it every year. Okay. It's a, it's an on. They always do it. Yeah, they come in and talk. Yeah. Didn't see Isaiah out there. Uh, will he not be part of this team until this thing is uh, adjudicated? Yeah, like I said, it's an ongoing investigation right now. Shane, what were um, your guys' course of action in Philly when it came to that matter? Like, how much did you stress the aspect of hey? This is a new rule. This is what you need to know about it. What was that education process like? Yeah, I think it's the same thing. The league just comes in. They give their piece on it and what they talk about and how they handle it and what the players need to know and and, and going forward in, in that matter. And like I said, I, I'm not going to get into a lot of detail on this stuff, um, but that's where it's at. Is it, is, is it a distraction at all for you guys? I think any time something like this comes up, you know, you got to push it aside and, and move on. But, you know, the players have been good so far in the building. Um, what? Look like Gardner again was taking the starting reps. We saw that on Friday. Is that something you guys have kind of trended towards here in the back half of the spring? No, I think just the last couple of days, if you guys have been out here, it's happened to play out that way. So if you guys are out here tomorrow, it might be different. But Gardner's doing a nice job. Anthony's doing a nice job. It's it's, it's been good. There's always going to be ups and downs. Rookie got some red zone action. Mm -hmm. Red zone's tough. Yeah. Um, what is what kind of has been the ebb and flow for Anthony? You know, as he kind of deals with those ups and downs. Yeah, I think the biggest, you know, one of the biggest transitions uh, for a rookie quarterback is the red zone. You know, I, I, the, the windows are so tight. They're already tight as it is in the field. But when you get in that red zone, it really condenses. You know, you got that back line. The field condenses. The windows are going to be tighter. And really, it's getting those reps down there, being smart with the football, knowing when to take your shot and knowing when to throw it away. But uh, it's been good. Um, you know, he's done a nice job so far. Obviously, you know, everyone has their ups and downs, but you keep – fighting through those things, but he's, he's done well. What did you see on that ball, the Perriman, down the sideline today from Richardson? Yeah, no, it was great. Um, obviously, Adam Perriman, you know, a speed guy. You know, we just threw a deep ball, a deep corner out right there, and he threw it. He layered it nice, hit him in stride uh, for a big play. It was, it was really good to see. Is he just like got feeling with, the, with an injury, or was he up for another reason? He's got a little foot, and it's nothing serious. He could have practiced today. We were just resting him. Yeah. Have you and Chris discussed next steps uh, once this thing is adjudicated, what you might do at cornerback? Yeah, like I said, I'm going to keep all those things internal. Yeah. You guys have dealt with a couple injuries at corner as well. Have you seen anybody kind of emerge there um, at that position? You know, I, I don't ever like to, you know, point out one guy, but, you know, please with the whole group in general. Um, the young guys have been doing a nice job, our two rookies and the rest of the group. Uh, they're competing, they're battling their butts off. It's been good to see. It, it does seem that is a young group, obviously. Um, does. Regardless of what's going on with any particular player, I mean, is there a group where you're going to need guys to kind of step up and, and rise to the occasion a little bit? Again, it's like I don't like to point out a group or certain guys. I always look at the team. Like, I never make it about yourself and never make it about you. Make it about everybody, you know. I think all groups need to step up, you know, when their time is to step up and go make a play. They need to make a play. And how do we get that done? We get it done in the media rooms. We get it done on the practice field. So when the lights come on on Sunday, our guys are ready to go. Is there a sweet spot in camp you want to get to to where maybe you commit to more of a starter or quarterback, or do you think it's one of those things you'll let play out throughout the month of August? I mean, we'll see how that plays out. Yeah, once once we get going uh, into camp, you know, obviously we, we'll have a plan for that and see how it starts to play out, and then, and then we'll go from there. But nothing like set in stone that we've talked about now. I mean, that'll be an ongoing conversation into the summer and then obviously getting into training camp. One thing with two man drills, kind of like a minute and ten. What's important of that, I guess, going for the touchdown, last week we saw it was like a field goal situation. How do you think that was uh, helpful to the group? Oh, it's great. I mean, there's so many different situations in football, right? There's third down, there's red zone, there's two minute, there's four minute, there's backed up, but there's certain situations on two minutes where you got the end of the half to where it's like, hey, what are we trying to accomplish here offensively? We're just trying to get points, you know, secure points. And then today we did a end of the game situation where offense was down by seven, got to score a touchdown. Uh, just so to get that feel and that flow of that situation and, and make it as real as possible and put those guys in those situations is good for those guys. 
Have you had a conversation with Isaiah? Um, again, I'm going to keep all those things internal. 